Hey guys, so um, today I was popping off my old Manny from my last video and I discovered that my problem child pinky nail had a little chip, I guess you could say, on the side of my builder gel extensions. Yes, I have builder gel extensions on because about a month ago I had to chop my nails down and start fresh, but I like my nails longer, so I decided to try Builder Gel. I'll be using Triple D's Builder Gel today, along with their um, paper forms. And this is Model 1's nail primer that I'll be using, and also the Model 1's nail dehydrator, and my Koopa base gel. These are all things I use to prep my nails for the Builder Gel. Um, these are two brushes that I use. One is for applying the Builder Gel. It's a nice, small, rounded brush. And then just a little art brush that's really flat that I like to use to apply my primer because the brush that it comes with doesn't get close enough to my cuticle lines. I also have my alcohol in a pump bottle and some lint-free cotton pads. Um, those are always good to have on hand when you're working with Builder Gel because it can be pretty sticky. And of course, I'll be using my e-file from iGel Beauty. And now we're going to get into um, applying the paper form. I like to take this little sticker and stick it onto the back um, because it gives the nail form a little bit more structure and um, it's easier to get the shape that I like. Um, so I like to, <laughs> I don't see people do this often, but it works the best for me. I give it a little bit of a roll and then I stick the ends together because I struggle. <laughs> Let's be honest, these things are sticky and they're hard to apply on yourself. So I, um, I stick those little wings together and then I place it on my finger and that makes it a little easier for me personally. Um, and then I just um, get it where I want it placed, make sure that there's no space, no gap between my nail and, um, and the form. And we're gonna get into uh, prepping my nail. So the first thing that I like to do is I need to prep my nail bed and remove any excess cuticle and make sure that it is nice and all cleaned up and ready for the dehydrator and the nail primer. Um, this is a tiny little diamond bit that I'm using and I really love it for this kind of detail work. Um, and I will try to link that in the description box for you. Um, then I'm going to dehydrate my nail and get ready to apply the primer. Um, so I use this little art brush. It came with, I guess, a nail art set that I got from Amazon, gosh, a while ago. Um, but I like that it is flat and really um, gets up close to my cuticle line um, to really get that primer as close to my cuticle as possible. It also does a really nice job of applying a thin layer. Um, I found that the brush that the primer came with um, didn't do such a great job. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry for a moment and then I'm going to apply my uh, gel base coat. Now that I've applied my gel base coat, I'm going to cure it in my LED UV lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm just gonna take a little bit of alcohol and a cotton pad and clean off that brush that I used to apply my primer.
Okay, so now it's time to get into the builder gel. I am not going to wipe off the inhibition layer, uh, the sticky layer on my base gel um, because I am just going to get right into the builder gel. I think it helps it stick better to the nail. Um, that's the whole purpose, right? Anyway, so I'm going to start with a little, I guess you can call it a blob <laughs> or a glob of the builder gel. And I start kind of in the center of the nail and then I wiggle and I push it towards my cuticle area and I smooth it out. Um, I, I start off with like a base layer, I guess, uh, which makes applying um, the next layer, the um, the bulkier layer, I guess, uh, a little bit easier. It moves, it helps move the builder gel around uh, to have a base layer on there. And now I'm going to uh, focus the builder gel in that area on my side wall of my extension where that chip was um, to build it up and fill it in. And then I try to smooth it out and you'll see me in a second. I'm going to turn my hand over uh, to help the builder gel self level. Um, then I am going to cure that in my LED lamp for about about 30 seconds for the first layer. So now this third layer that I'm going in with is mostly to uh, smooth everything out and to reinforce that little edge. Uh, make sure it's nice and thick and will be easy to file and shape. So tell me, have you guys ever used Builder Gel before? Um, I know this has kind of become um, kind of a thing. A lot of people are using Builder Gel. I had never used it before, um, but when I had to cut down my natural nails um, and start from scratch, I was like, you know what? I really want to try this Builder Gel stuff. So I ordered it and I built the extensions and oh my gosh, it's a game changer. I love it and I'm going to be using it um, as like an overlay once my natural nails grow out. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on Builder Gel in the comments below. Um, I'm really interested in hearing other people's opinions. Some people are really into like poly gel or uh, tips. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of partial to the Builder Gel. I think it's easy to use. It's really forgiving and uh, easy to file. Oh my gosh, it feels like butter. It's so easy to file. Speaking of filing, now that I have removed the paper form, I'm actually looking at it and wow, I'm really happy with the way that came out. It really filled in that little chip quite nicely. And now I am going to remove the inhibition layer, that sticky layer on the top of the builder gel and I'm gonna get into some filing. And so, okay, I'm gonna hop in here and just apologize for being out of frame. Um, I'm out of frame quite a bit while I'm filing and I'm so sorry. I am one of those people that literally files right up under my face because I'm blind and it's hard for me to see sometimes. So I didn't realize that I was so out of frame for most of this. Um, so yeah.
Okay, so now I'm going to do a little bit of e-filing. Now, honestly, once I'm done hand filing, there is not a whole lot of e-filing that I want to do. Um, but I do go around my cuticle line just to make sure that there's a nice little transition and that I've got a good apex uh, going. A nice shape around that area of the nail. And I use this small diamond barrel bit again because, again... It just does a fabulous job for a small detail like this. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to let you watch that for a minute. Okay, well, there you have it. A Builder Gel Fill and Repair on my Problem Pinky. <laughs> That's it. That's all I've got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please let me know by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. See you all next time. Bye-bye now.